I thought that was only, uh, I think that was only a two-step clue. Had to have been more than that. Anyways, uh, let's see what we can get. Oh, nice. That is our first blessing, which being ranged isn't actually super useful, but amulet power might be better. I believe the drop rate's down to like one and two, so I hope we pretty much get a piece every single round. And we did not the first round. Number two. Nothing. Number three. Nothing. Oh. Hey, we got another Ketzil. That will sell for quite a bit. And another one. That is going to be a lot of tackle. Very good. So we are able to do all the way up to the hard diary on Karamja, uh, giving us a lot of points and also the gloves to make things cheaper with Tockle. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we do have to do Taibo Wane Trio still, so we're going to do that first, and then we'll be able to go through all the tasks pretty quickly. Just found a Dragon Impline. Which we can barehand catch. Oh, we got Dragon Longsword. I was hoping for the uh, Amulet of Glory or the Uncharged ones, but it's still pretty good. I think uh, this will elk pretty high to 60,000. That's nice. I believe talking to Tim Fraku will complete the quest. We have to go talk to the brothers, but after that uh, we'll be able to complete the rest of the diary. Or all of the diary, I should say. Talk to Tinsei. 60,000 cooking XP. I guess we could technically hold off on this until the next relic, but that's a little while away, so we'll just do it now. And we will get fishing XP. Oh, no, nope. 30,000 attack and strength XP. That actually might be kind of nice. 62 attack and 58 strength. And last but not least, what will this be? This will be fishing XP, I think. 60 should be 60,000. There we go. 60,000 fishing XP. We can now fish and catch, uh, fish and cook Kerumbuam which is, we need to do a hundred of that for tasks, but uh, yeah, let's finish the diary. Just completed the easy diary. The medium one's gonna take a little longer uh, because we need to get 100% type will want a mini game, uh, but uh, yeah, let's keep it going. Got a book of knowledge and we're gonna use it on construction because it will, should give us base 50. No, oh, never mind. Oh, we're actually quite a bit off. I didn't know how much that would give. Oh well. So we've done a bit over a hundred herbivore and uh, hit over 20 mil hunter XP and still no uh, torso. So we're going to take a little bit of a break and come back later. So never done this boss before but we have three mossy keys and three moss giants left on task so uh, we'll give it a shot it's a task to defeat it once i believe and then there's also a task to equip the staff but we'd have to get pretty lucky to get the staff but let's give it a shot see what happens okay that was very easy two rune med helms and defeating Bryophyta was a task. And second one, Rune Chain Body. Very nice. And let's see if we can do this. Okay, we can start doing that. So I had another book, and it should give me base 50. There we go. Very nice. Under nature ends is pretty nice. And we can do that. 
And we got two caskets here. Let's see if we can get some more uniques. Oh, okay. That is a pretty expensive unique. And no uniques there. But uh, yeah, that's pretty, oops, pretty good. We can complete the easy diary here. Get our reward, which will let us trade in for better prices. And I don't really know what to use here. I'm going to go with smithing. 12,000, not a whole lot, but. Hey, we got the most expensive one, the obsidian cape. We'll finish this task, and then if we don't get the uh, last piece, we'll just purchase it. I am making dinner, so I didn't see this, but this is the last piece that we need for all of the tasks. So we didn't actually have to purchase any. That is quite lucky. And we got 17 left on this task, so we'll just do that real quick. And then maybe we'll go get uh, 60 strength so we can actually equip the one weapon and we'll be done all the Tazar items and that'll put us at 5,000 points of the next relic. Still quite a bit, but uh, pretty good dent made today. We have a medium clue casket. Let's give it a go. Oh, heraldic advent uh, plate body. Should be a unique item going towards those uh, tasks. All right, if we talk to this gentleman, we should get our easy and medium task completed. We can do the hard one uh, pretty much. We need a couple levels, but uh, the main thing is getting 100 tiers of Gethics, which we'll have to wait till Wednesday to do. Uh, and it's currently Monday, so let's use them on crafting. We need higher crafting, and although we can get it later, I think it will be good to boost it up a little bit. Ninety thousand, bringing us to sixty-six. Very good. Okay, that was really quick, but uh, we completed, uh, oh, I guess we can get out of here. Oh, we're standing on candles. Um, that was Vampire Slayer. I didn't see, I think we got like 57,000 attack XP, but almost 64. And yeah, more tasks. And we've completed Gertrude's Cat, eventually. There we go, some cooking XP, and there we go. We've now completed all of the easy Misthalin tasks, I believe. Yep. Cool. There is a hard task, defeating an ancient wyvern. Didn't get anything special, but still, why are we not teleporting? There we go. Still a pretty easy hard task to complete. We also hit 98 range. I unfortunately was not recording, but we just got the obsidian plate body. Wow, I don't know if I, okay, I can wear this, but there's a task for wearing the entire set, uh, but they're pretty rare. Yeah, so they're one in 2000, which with the three times modifier, Takes us down to 1 in 666.66 repeating, of course. Um, but yeah, that's still pretty rare. And we'll, uh, we, well, we're just doing this for ranging XP and Slayer XP. So if we get the other two pieces, that would be great. But uh, yeah, very good. That'll be our probably best tank body that we can get. And there is 99 ranged. Very good. And EXP now will be going towards the 25 mil. 
247 Abyssal Demons. We extended the task before taking it, and we will uh, hopefully get a whip within that. Task 250 points to slay the Abyssal Demon while on an Abyssal Demon task. And, uh, yeah, 246 more to go. Hey, this is our first hard clue. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, and a medium pouch. That's pretty good. We got a small and a medium one now. Uh, hard clue. Karamja. We can do it. So let's uh, let's go do it. Step number two. Okay, we can do that as well. Step number three. Uh, night. Oh, nope, that's in Mauritania. Right. Yep. Oh, well. Back we go. And there is the Abyssal Whip. Very early in the kill count here. <laughs> uh, we got... Let's see if we can pull this up. That was only 35 kill count to get our Abyssal Whip. We cannot even equip it yet, I just realized. Um, but... Yeah, 212 more to go still. I uh, don't know what the XP is like here. I'll probably reset the Slayer XP because I was doing some Tazar earlier just to see. But uh, you can also see I've started turning defense using uh, long range. And that has... Uh, it's good to start getting some defense XP. But, uh, well, let's see if we can go for the back-to-back. -back and then, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So we're going to claim our ranging cape, which will give us the effects of the accumulator. Or the, yeah, I think the Ava's, it's one of the Ava's devices anyways. Uh, why did we not get it? Oh, trade it. There we go. Buy one of those. Very cool. Let's uh, check out the... Animation. I actually don't have this on my main yet, but get it pretty soon there. Uh, anyways, we're going to give Abyssal Sire a shot. I looked at some videos and it seems kind of weird. I don't know how it's going to go in leagues without uh, the shadow spells, but... We're going to give it a shot anyways, see if we can just get one KC and then leave forever and never come back and probably go back later. But anyways, let's give it a shot. Oh boy. I need to turn auto retail off. And I'm going to teleport out. Okay, I think we can do that. Uh, we just need to be a little better prepared. And... We'll learn it a little better. Cool. There's 30 black dragons in Asgarnia defeated. No draconic visage. But uh, it was pretty quick. Got some good prayer XP in the bank. There is the Death to the Dorgishan quest completed. This unlocks quite a few tasks that we can do now. So that is good. And I think we can now enter the city. Yep. Cool. All right, that was incredibly scuffed, <laughs> but oh no, it didn't count because someone else had done damage to it already. That's great. Uh, okay, let's try that again. All right, well, that definitely feels a little bad, but we will give this another shot. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. All right, that should be an actual one. There we go. That's uh, still really annoying but uh, we did get it there we got two tasks completed we'll come back here eventually but uh not 
super soon. <laughs> Left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth doing that uh, first KC pretty well, pretty good, and uh, having it not actually count, and then failing horribly on the second one. So, anyways, uh, yeah, 402 coal is actually pretty nice though for uh, we need to get our smithing up a little bit. So, cool. Beginner clue. Oh, uh, that is a task once we equip that. This is pretty exciting. We need one more task for our next area. And equipping this should complete that, equipping a trimmed amulet. So, actually, let's, uh, let's take a look at what that looks like. That's pretty cool, actually. So, when the League was announced and kind of how it worked was revealed, I had originally thought for sure I was going to the elf area. I thought that with Zolra and Gauntlet and Zolcano, for sure it'd be one of the best places to go. As things started to get revealed a little bit more, I did kind of think that I was going to unlock the Fremenek area, going Kander and Asgarnia Fremenek for Vorkath and Dagonoth Kings, among some... It, it, there's quite a few extra things that you get from unlocking Fremenek. But more recently I learned about how strong the crystal armor with the crystal bow is for the range setup, which is what we took. So we are going to go with Taranwin is how I'm going to pronounce it. I quite like the Prif area. I think it adds a lot to the game. A lot of really fun stuff in my opinion. So yeah, this should be fun. It also adds a lot of different uh, Slayer tasks that are quite good. I don't think it really said... Oh, here, yeah. Bloodvelds, Kurasks, Necreals are all really good. Uh, so yeah, let's give this an unlock and confirm, and now we can't change. Very cool. We are also only 1,070 points away from our next relic, so we're going to try and rush to that as well.